Hi there. Now, for this question then, you had to find the greatest height reached by the stone. And as you can see, the answer is 19.6 metres. So if you'd like to uh, see the full work solution very quickly, don't forget you can just fast forward or I'll take you now slowly through the work solution. So for a question like this, what I'd want to do is just sketch a simple diagram, something along these kind of lines where I've got the stone and we have the ground here and we're told that it's projected upwards with a speed of 19.6 meters per second. When it reaches its greatest height, which I've called h meters, it comes to instantaneous rest. So that's zero meters per second. I've marked in the acceleration due to gravity, which acts vertically downwards, and that remains a constant value of 9.8 meters per second per second. So with questions like this, what you need to do is just write down what I call the SUVAT variables. That's these particular variables, okay? S for displacement, U for initial velocity, V for final velocity, A for acceleration, and T for time. But when you're using this system, make sure you always set up a positive sense and stick by it throughout the question. And it's a good idea to take the positive sense in the direction of the initial velocity. And that will be upwards in this case. So if I just put an arrow in there to show that that's the positive sense. Now, we fill in the variables. S is the displacement and it started from here and it eventually goes up to here. That's a positive displacement, so that would be H. The initial velocity u, again, that's in the positive sense, so that's going to be 19.6. Final velocity v, that's going to be 0. And the acceleration, well, that's 9.8 meters per second per second, but it's in the opposite sense to the plus. So that's going to be minus 9.8. As for the time, we're not interested in that, so I can afford to leave that out. So we now need to find an equation that links these variables together. And you should be familiar with those equations. The one we use here, the one that leaves out t, is v squared equals u squared plus 2as. And all we need to do now is just substitute these values into the formula here and solve it for h. So if you did that, then you should find that you get this equation here. And then just rearranging this, you'll find it leads into h equals 19.6 meters. Now, if you did set the plus direction downwards, no problem, but do bear in mind that h would now be negative. Okay, s would be negative h, I should say. u would be minus 19.6. V would still be 0, but A would be positive 9.8. And again, if you put those values into this equation here, it will still turn out to be H equals 19.6. Okay, so I hope that uh, gives you some idea on that question, if it gave you any problems. Okay, 